Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a very interesting project on the voting system. Let's first have a look at the requirements. First, we require an ID for running and compiling the source code. Second, we require a text editor where we are going to write our code. We may use any text editor as per our choice, but the recommended ones at which I have used here is VS Code. Thirdly, we require an operating system. Again, you may use any operating system as per your choice. But the recommended ones are Windows 10 operating system or any other latest version. This project is entirely based on HTML, CSS and JavaScript and you will get to know lots and lots of interesting functionalities. Then you have the requirement analysis as an HTML file, a JavaScript file, a CSS file and we'll have a bootstrap. I'm telling you a file, a file but there are multiple and multiple of files inside a folder. You have multiple files inside a file, you have multiple elements and we are going to learn how to link those all together to perform a great system. So I know you are very excited to see the project first. So let's have a look at the project. This is your entire look at the project. Come on, let's vote. Let's change the poll name. Let's go to the poll settings. Okay, I'll change the poll name to election. Election. Say the candidate one is Ram. Candidate two is Simran. And candidate three is Lakshmi. Cool. Let me save the changes. You can see here. Now, if I vote for Ram, okay, I voted for Ram. Again, let me vote for Ram. Okay, you have voted for Ram. Now let me vote for Lakshmi. Okay. Now let me vote for Simran. Okay. Now let me vote for Ram. Okay. Now let's see the results. See, uh, here three votes are there for Ram. One vote is there for Simran and one vote is there for Lakshmi. Let's return to home. So I hope what you got to know is you understood about what is the project Basically, how does the project works? Basically, I hope you understood. Now, let's go to the code part and let's understand the code step by step. Here we are in the code. I'm opening VS Code. Okay, great. Now, let's move to the index.html first. So, first, HTML is basically a framework through which we are write, going to write our website code. So it's basically, it's a markup language. It basically provides you the framework through which you can enter inside the coding platform. So now doc type HTML, the language selected as EN. We have a head, the cat set is defined, the equivalent compatibility is defined, the name is defined as view for the content is defined. Then you get here, see the polling site and the local machine. This is your title. Now let's move here. This is what your title is, polling side and local machine, which we wrote it there. Got it, right? Now, uh, we have a shortcut icon. We have a type of image dot image of ping. Then there is a vote icon. So what's the vote icon? This icon is the voting icon. This one. Understood? Then let's see again. Then we have, uh, see, see, this is what I said you about linking. So the HTML file is linked. To the CSS file through this. This is the bootstrap. Bootstrap, it's a class in which the CSS has already been defined. So you need not write the lines of CSS code again and again. Then we have this jQuery, set of jQuery. Then the logos. So first we have selected the like fonts which we are going to use, the images which we are going to use, the background color and stuff and stuff like that. So that depends entirely on you like what what colors you want to use i basically pick the colors from internet because i don't spend my time writing all those colors all those css it's basic stuff you can also copy it from the internet or you can write as beginners you it will be preferably good if you write everything by yourself then we have a nav bar so the font family is selected the referencing is start it is all then this is the anchor tag basically. Then we have a button. What's button is, let's see. Yeah. So these are your buttons. So when you click it, it's happening. It's doing some action. So these are basically your buttons. That's also defined. 
so the buttons uh, the view of the button is basically through your html and css and the functionality which it performs that is basically through your javascript i hope you got it then let let's move to the next because three buttons are there so sorry sorry so three buttons are there so we have three functionalities then we have the poll name we have given the poll name like what this is for what the election is doing going to do for what so this is basically the poll name which is i have written election so it's mainly it can be a cr election it can be a, a cabinet election anything depends okay so i'm explaining you line by line and again i'm going to the course i'm going to the project and i'm showing you what does it see so the you should know the transition right so if i write here uh, the candidate one see this was the candidate one candidate two and candidate three so when we were in the basic like when we did not uh, save any changes when let me refresh it again refreshing so if when we did not have any changes we had this candidate one candidate two and candidate three if you are having doubt what i'll do is i'll show it to you i'll run it again and i'll show it to you see when we are going in when we're going directly see the poll name is mentioned then you have the candidate one candidate two and candidate three which is written here in the code poll name candidate one candidate two and candidate three so when you go and change the candidate name when you go and change the poll name that can be done via the javascript when the script has been linked to index.js and this course is app.js great then let's move to about.html this is basically about the complete work which you have done this can be changed basically let me delete we do not if you do not need a about you can delete as well so when you deleted it this is basically about the author so it will not show you anything because i've deleted the about understood right now let me so i'm showing you the running of the code like that now here is the data.txt so this is basically whatever commits i would we have done then let's move to the css so this is basically the css so the body of, of whatever the body it has it is marked like that then the theme button is marked like the button the top right width height of the button the boundary of the button the box shadow the cursor see the cursor changes here you go see this is a pen uh, normal cursor when you go it becomes a hand so this is basically the transition which is changed you can uh, the shadow you can change the coloring you can change depends on you then the theme button active then the uh, font size color and pointer events you can change the background color also i don't like blue uh, you can say that i don't like blue okay if you don't like blue go and make it green let's make it green let's check how does it look like let's see refresh see so this is the transition which we can do we can play with colors you can play with your code right if you like no let me change it to orange okay no problem make sure you save the code after every changes okay see cool now you can go to the navigation bar you can change the padding right padding top navigation link is there then the poll slide is there the poll name the padding of the padding is what the boundary or the margins which you are putting inside the margins it's like a cushion you can understand like that that padding acts like basically a cushion then you can have the button the background color of the button can be also be let's change it let's make it this let's see if it works good okay not bad see the colors changes then you can have the padding again width text alignment its center you can change it to justify you can change it to left right anything then after the transition from before to after you can change the background again like see when i click on this okay the color slides to blue if you can see what i'll do is i'll change it to something else let me make it red just go over here it okay i'm bring your cursor right here uh let's make it green green okay let's see now let's changes booted okay see 
the transition goes towards green clear right then uh, the button after active after being active then the padding the margin the opacity and the transition is also changed like let me put the transition to be 5 seconds let's see what happens very interesting see goes a little slow it lasts still 5 seconds cool now Now let's move to s2.css. In s2.css, again we have the body, the top, the navigation, the padding right is set to 40 pixel. The settings is set, the center, the text alignment is set to center. The padding top is 50 pixels, padding bottom is 100 pixels. Then the P1, the padding bottom is like 30 pixels. The head is set, the names are set, and the bottom again is like changing to green, which we set, which we changed it. The border is set. The font size is to be 28 pixels. Background color padding is 20 pixel. Width is what depends on you. Like whatever you can put, you can change it. No problem. But this you should be very careful that the background and the entire working should be smooth and it should look good. Now let's move to the JS. In the JS, what we have this is basically the functionality. You have set uh, seven variables that is C1 words, candidate one words, candidate two words, candidate three words, the poll name. Candidate 1, can name of the candidate 1, name of the candidate 2, and name of the candidate 3. So, if the uh, item is poll name is null, like if you are not going to put any name for the poll, then the by default it is poll name. If you are going to put a name for the poll, the poll name changes to the name of the poll which you have put. Like in the previous day, I put it to election. So, when I go into the settings, I put it as elections. Elect so basically it changes to election so if I, until and unless i did not change it it was poll name only got it right then again depends again the candidate one name candidate two name candidate three name also can be changed if it is null that by default the same candidate name will be there and if it is different if you're going to change it then again you can change it then when you are going to have a click function like if you're going to select for button one button one is for candidate one this button one is for candidate one so when you're going to click on this an action is performed it says you have voted for candidate one okay so this is basically an action performed when you are going to work for button two when you're going to place a vote for button two again you have voted for candidate two for button three or voted for candidate three and everything is gonna save and it is going to be evaluated it is going to be re-added and finally the poll results can be seen as such See, the poll results can be seen. I voted one for the, I have given a vote for the candidate one, so it is mentioned. So, I hope you understood the working of this course. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.